Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create parallax copy transitions with DV's sticky options. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. We are going to give this page a name. Let's just call this parallax. And then I'm gonna click on use DV Builder. So for this design, we're going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to click here on build from scratch. So next, we're going to add a new row. So I'm going to go ahead and add a single column. Now let's go in and make some changes to this. So I'm going to close over here because we're going to go in and add our modules later. So I'm going to click here on uh, this gear icon on our row settings. And what I'm going to do first is to come over here to design sizing and I am going to equalize column height and on my width here I'm going to set this to 95% and for my maximum width this is going to be 100%. Now let's head over to spacing so here what we're going to do is to remove our top and bottom padding so I'm going to add zero to that and since the size is the same I'm just going to add this chain so that the same value is added to the bottom. So what we're going to do next is to add an image to our column. So I'm going to come back over here to content, click on my gear icon. So now I am going to go into the background. So I'm going to click here on background, click the third tab, and then I'm going to add my image. So the image I'm going to add here is this one and the dimensions are 1600 by 1067. So just make sure that uh, that's the size or roughly the size you have for your images. Next, I'm going to click upload an image and then I'm going to add some parallax. So on use parallax effect, I'm going to say yes. And the type I'm going to use is CSS. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now let's add some column spacing. So to do that, we're going to come over here to design spacing and we are going to add 50 VH to the bottom like that. So now we can see uh, most of that image. Now we're going to add some text to column one. So let's just save this, save this one more time. Click on our plus button and this is where we need to search for our text module. Select it and now we can add our text. So the text that's going to go in here is just going to be about us. And I'm going to set this to heading two. So I'm going to click on this drop down, set this to heading two. And you can see it over here. I know it's not uh, visible because it's dark on a dark background, but we're going to fix this by heading over to our, our settings. So I'm going to come over here to design heading text. Now, remember, we set this to heading two. So I want to select heading two and I'm going to change my font here to monster ad. So I'm going to search for it. And here it is. I'm going to select that and I'm going to change my weight here to bold and also set this to uppercase. Now it's time to set my color. So I'm going to set this to white so we can read it on a dark background. And now I'm going to go in and set my sizes. So for this, I'm going to set this to 9VW. Now this is for the desktop. Now let's go into the tablet because ideally you want this to look great on all screen devices. Okay, so this one here needs to be 14. And then for the phone, I'm going to set this to 15. Okay, so that's looking great. Now let's head over to our filters. So I'm going to come all the way down here to filters. And what I'm going to add here is overlay. So let me go to the blending mode and set this to overlay. So now it's showing uh, behind this, what's behind the image. Right, so pretty much I'm happy with this. I'm going to save this. And next we're going to add another module, but this time it's going to be a button. So I'm going to search for it and select it. So for our button text, I'm just going to say navigate to page. And then over here, it's important that you add your link. So for now, I'm just going to add a blank link. But in your case, you need to add a link that takes you to the page. All right. So next I'm going to come over here to design. And this is where we are going to customize our button. So I'm going to come over here. And to customize our button here, we need to activate use custom styles for button. So now we have full access to all the customizations. All right. So with this now, we are going to uh, start with our button text color. So we're going to set this to white. And for our button text size, I'm going to set this to 2VW. 
And while we're here, let's go into our tablet and phone. So for our tablet, we are going to set this to 7VW and the same applies for the phone. All right, so back over here, let's go on to our button border width. So I'm going to scroll down here. So for our button border width, we're going to set this to white. But then again, this is going to be zero pixels. So we don't need any borders there. Right, so moving on, we are also going to need to add some letter spacing. So I'm going to scroll down here and add my letter spacing. And it's just slight. Now for the button font, so we're going to set this to a font called color. So here it is. I'm going to select it. So moving on, show button icon. We're going to set it to yes. And for the placements, um, I think it's best to have it on the left. So I'm going to click on this drop down and set this over to the left. And again, you can also change your icon. So I'm going to go with this one here so you can see now it is showing. So over here, it also says only show icon on hover for button. So we can also say no so that the um, arrow keeps showing. Right. So what I'm going to do next is to come over here to spacing and we're going to make a few adjustments here for on our padding on the button so that we give it a bit of uh, breathing space. So we're going to set 8% both to the top and the bottom. Now we're going to come over here to advanced and click on position. So for our position, we're going to uh, set this to absolute. And the location is going to be bottom right. So now you can see that this is where we have our button. And by using our position, we are able to specify where we want that button to go. Now we need to uh, turn this button here to sticky because we want it to stick to the top. So for that, we need to go to our scroll effects. So I'm going to come over here, choose my scroll effects. So for here, we're going to uh, make sure that this sticks to the top. So I'm going to say stick to the top. For my sticky offset, we're going to set this to 150 pixels. So bottom sticky limit, we want to limit this to the actual section. That way we have more control. So for this offset surrounding sticky elements, we're going to leave it to yes. And then the transition by um, default and sticky styles, we're going to say yes as well. So pretty much that's all we need to do here. Let me go ahead and save. Now we're also going to make a few modifications here to our text settings. So I'm going to come over here and we're going to go into our design spacing. So for the margin top, we're going to set this to minus 10 VW. So next, I want to come over here to the tablet and set this to 14 or minus 14 VW. And for the phone, it's going to be minus 15. Now, this is just so that uh, when we view, our design is going to look great in all the views. All right. So what we're going to do next, you're going to come over here to advanced and we're going to uh, stick this to the top. And then we're going to add our offset. So we're going to say 150 pixels and now you can see our text is back so just to go through this again uh, we can see here that our offset is set to yes and our transition is also set to yes so i'm just going to go back over here to my design spacing and just make sure my top margin is set to minus 10 vw and uh, also my tablet is minus 14 and then the phone is minus 10. Okay, so that's looking okay. So since we went ahead and set our sticky option, what I'm going to do is to come over here now. So you can see we have the sticky option here. So I'm going to select the sticky, right? And on the sticky position, I am going to set my top margin now to zero VH. And pretty much that's all I need to do. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now we're going to need our section spacing. So I'm going to click here on my section settings. Click on design, spacing. And for our top and bottom padding, we're going to set this to 10VH and then save. So now with this all set, we can clone the entire section as many times as we want uh, as we create different parts of our site. So you can see here, I've done it twice. So what you can also do is you can go to each and every section and change the titles. So to make this easier for me, I'm just going to come over here to expand settings and click on my layers because I need to go to each specific section. And to do this quickly, I can just come over here and target this section. 
So this section here is going to be services. So I'm going to come over here, go into my column and go into my text module. So here now I can change the about us to services and make sure that I set my link here as well and save. Okay, so that's the middle section. And then the last section here can be the contact. So I'm going to come over here, go into my role and go into the text. So this one here is going to be contact. And again, you want to make sure you add a link to your page. I'm going to save that. And then we're just going to close out of here. So now let's take a look at our final design. So I'm going to click on Exit Visual Builder. And now when I scroll, there's the effect that we have. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.